boy OB. You're here at 52 Block TV. The first episode. Here we're gonna take a look at everything 52 Blocks. Everything. The blocking, the defense, the footwork, the wide, the hand feints. Uh, is it too excessive? When to do it? How to do it? You know. Or you wanna stay away from um, my fighter Wolf Burley just had a fight. And I like one of the comments that said, uh, where was the 52? Now, um, this is a misconception that you're going to, uh, the only way to see 52 is to see it in this form. This is just one element of it. All of my students know that um, 52 is, uh, we look at it in the total package of defense, footwork, slipping, dipping, ducking. And you may say, well, in boxing, this regular ducking. What makes 52 block ducking different? I'm not going to say that we're, we are different in ducking, but our attention to ducking and how we duck, we do have a method. We're not just ducking into our feet. There's a method. You know, you got to train with me to figure out that method. But there's a method. Everything I, ain't free. Exactly. <laughs> that I would say is slightly different from boxing, but we just pay more attention to it. Where other arts skim over that, oh yeah, here's block and go. No, you ask my students. We spent six months to years working on the three ducks. Um, so we look at it in the totalitary. So when you look at Wolf's early fights to when he's fighting now, you can see the difference in the footwork, the head movement, the hand feints. So when, when you see that, that is our um, uh, expression of 52 as far as um, how we're doing it. And it doesn't have to be a block. Not everything has to be a block. You know, a lot of times blocks are very hard to get. So uh, we use the interceptions, the trappings, and all that stuff. Um, Another question is, what is 52? 52 is defense. What we look at at the 52 camp is the elephant in the room. Or we could say the black eye in the room if you don't have no defense. And that's your ability not to be hit. Now, when you say this, people kind of glance over it. They don't understand it because, you know, it's more people want to hit than not be hit. you rather learn how to throw a left hook than how to duck under the left hook. So at our camp, we spend, we spend a lot of time on how not to be hit. And what does this do for your hitting? Uh, if you feel more comfortable with your defense, you just punch stronger, you punch more confident. And so a strong defense means a stronger offense. And of course, offense is the highest level of fighting. You gotta end the fight. That's your highest level of defense. But um, defense will excel your offense to the stratosphere. So um, here, we say we have a saying that goes uh offense wins fights defense wins championships so we're champions here so we use the defensive mind the humble mind not to mention that defense brings in your thought pattern so um there you have it your first uh your first uh look at 52 block tv stay tuned for the second episode when i talk about uh instinctive fighting overthinking fight it's your boy how was that how long Oh. Uh -huh.